guys, it's Dave from What's Brew New UK and we're going to be doing a review of the Hoppy Copper Bitter that I brewed some time ago which I used some Willamette finishing hops uh, 12 grams of those um, 500 grams of medium spray malt and 700 grams of brown sugar so got my glass and it's empty so let's sort that out by getting some of this in right right guys so here's the pour good start and we'll give it a pour in the glass Let's uh, reposition the camera so we can get a better look. Right, guys, so we'll go copy, copy better. Here we go. Um, I'm just gonna get my torch. There we go. And I'm just gonna move the right into the side. There we go. Is that hoppy? Copper, copper colour. I think it is. And it's got a nice, I don't know if you can pick it up. Uh, nice floor bubbles. That means only one thing a nice head. And we all like a nice head. Right, so on side so this is uh, the hobby copper better which I used Willamot uh, Willamet <laughs> Jesus Christ Willamet uh, finishing hops 12 grams um, uh, the tin of Wilgo's hobby copper better which is 1.5 grams uh, kilograms sorry um, 500 grams of spear malt and 700 grams of um, brown sugar. Uh, again, with this one, I had a starting gravity reading of 1040 um, and worked out that it was about 4%. So it's a bit on the, what I would call a light coloured bitter. Although on the camera it's picking up, it's quite dark, but if you look through the light, it is quite a, a light colour. Good carbonation. This has been in the, the bottles for at least two months, so a little bit longer than I would usually u leave it. But I think it's actually um, it's improved it. Um, I tried a sample of this after 30 days and it wasn't very fizzy. It wasn't very uh, carbonated. Um, in fact, it was a bit of a thumbs down but now it's two months uh, two months it's actually got really good head retention it's a nice thick foamy head which I'm pretty pleased with uh, so let's give it a sniff sniffity sniff again very slight hops uh, we use the Willamette but only 12 grams so it's not going to be Massively, um, no massive smell of the nose. So, taste test. By the way, all the bees that I test are all being in the fridge, so they're quite cold. So you get a bit chill here, uh, but that's just how I like my bees. So here we go. Have another bit just for a second opinion. Mm. 
Mmm, it doesn't got a big massive taste. Um, however, that's not bad. For a kit that cost £10, and it's only 1.5 kilograms, that's, that's not bad. Dry, malty, um, a bit of a bit of a sour hint right at the very end right if you if you leave it I'm starting to get it now like a like a grapefruit however that's quite nice If I do, if I went into a pub and ordered a beer and I got that, I'd be I'd be quite happy with that. Definitely nice. Surprisingly nice, considering it's a Wilgo's kit. And I thought they were going to be absolutely terrible. So now you got to remember, I did add the uh, spear malt, so that bumped it up. If anybody was brewing this, I wouldn't brew it with just a kilogram of sugar. I would either use do what I've done and use the spear malt, or use another tin of the same um, stuff. So, hoppy copper bitter, two tins. Um, whether you want to add extra hops or extra sugar, whatever. But I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I wouldn't brew it again only because there's other bees that if you're going to spend that kind of money is uh, probably come out a lot better however I'm not um, cheesed off or um, unhappy with the, the result I'm actually quite happy with the result it's carbonated well, tastes well um, very nice on the tongue. Little, it is there on the nose, but not as much as I what I thought I would have had with the hops that I added. But I only added twelve grams, and it was like in a tea bag sort of thing. So, yeah. Very nice, old bean. Marks out of ten. Don't like to give bees marks out of ten, but. I'll probably say six and a half. Better than a pub beer. So, if that answers your question, um, much better than a pub beer. A lot cheaper than a pub beer. So, there we go. Uh, Will goes hoppy copy better. Um, 4%. Give it a whirl. Oh, yeah. In a bit. Mm -hmm.